Hi, and welcome. I'm Jamie from Siemens Digital Industry Software. Today, we're going to be taking a look at new features for the June 2023 release of NX. Our continuous release cycle is based on your feedback, ensuring new capabilities align with your needs. In this video, we're going to explore the mold, tool, and die manufacturing capabilities within NX. Tooling plays a key role in the creation of new products. Toolmakers must overcome major challenges, including new product complexity, increases in quality requirements, and supply chain issues. These factors mean that most tooling manufacturers intend to invest in more CNC automation to improve quality and lead time. This is reflected in trends we are seeing in the tooling industry. The goal is to improve collaboration with customers and OEMs, capture and reuse best practices, and accelerate manufacturing, all whilst reducing costs and improving mold performance. NX delivers a complete CAD CAM solution for the design and manufacturing of molds, dies, and electrodes. The design capabilities provide automation and process simulation, improving productivity and ensuring first-time quality. The solution set includes design capabilities for molds, electrodes, progressive and stamping die, and fixture design. going to explore the tooling manufacturing capabilities in NX CAM and what it takes to machine the mold for the plastic cover of our coffee machine. We'll use new and existing functionality in NX CAM to define the machining process for the mold. Here's what we'll do. Bring the mold design into CAM and make manufacturing design changes. Use the new Cloud Connect Tool Manager to find the correct cutting tools. Apply a new high-speed operation called 3D Adaptive Roughing. Highlight how to reuse geometry between operations. Apply finishing patterns in the guided curve operation. Choose the CNC machine's digital twin in Post Hub and simulate the machining process for safe and more sustainable production. The first step is to bring the mold for the coffee machine into the CAM environment. This part of file contains a lot of intricate details that we don't necessarily want to machine using milling operations. These features are machined using wire electrical discharge machining, or EDM for short. So, we'll quickly remove these features using synchronous modeling in NX. Remember, synchronous modeling enables direct manipulation of solid and surface geometry without the need to fully understand how the model is constructed. It's a quick and easy way to prepare part models for NC programming. Here, we're focusing on the removal of faces. Any changes we make to the original model will propagate through the digital thread and automatically update the CAM setup. Using the new Cloud Connect Tool Manager in NX CAM, we can select the best tools for the different machining operations. The feature allows us to find the right tool for the job from an extensive, easy to use library of milling tools with a modern user interface. Additionally, you can search through cutting tool catalogs and import them into your library. If we need a tool that's not in the library, we can create one from scratch using the Cloud Connect Tool Manager. We can capture general information for a tool, such as name, description, and tool number to name a few examples. We can tweak all the inputs for the cutter and shank directly on this screen. For the coffee machine mold core, we'll use a pre-created tool, an 80 millimeter face mill, which we can import directly into our CAM session from the library. Next, we'll create a roughing operation using 3D adaptive roughing, the successor to the original adaptive milling operation. 3D adaptive roughing creates highly efficient tool paths to rapidly remove the bulk of the material. New capabilities include improved toolpath generation performance and holder collision avoidance functionality. It can also automatically detect and machine any flat surfaces and custom stock values for floor and other part surfaces. We can either let the system set the range automatically or we can specify our own custom ranges by dragging the slider bar. We've really focused on reducing the time taken to generate the high speed machining toolpath with 3D adaptive roughing. And this is how our mold looks once the roughing is complete. This ultra fast roughing method can reduce machining time by more than 60%. Next, we'll create a rest milling operation for the mold core. The rest milling operation will remove any residual material left after the adaptive roughing operation. We're going to choose a longer end mill tool with a smaller diameter for this operation. With our ranges specified, notice the milling operation in action. Features on top of the mold core also need to be machined. So let's go ahead and set that up. Within the Cloud Connect Manager tool, 
we can access the Frasier Tool Expert, an integrated vendor offering a range of milling cutters and tools. It's an extensive library to choose from, but for our mold core, we'll select a ball nose milling cutter and import it into NX. All we need to do now is select our cut area for the top of the mold core. In this latest version of NXCAM, we can simplify the creation of operations by reusing geometry already selected in a previously made operation. By right clicking, we can create a mill area with the previously selected cut areas. To complete the machining process, we'll now create a finishing operation to achieve the desired mold accuracy and surface quality. We're using fixed axis guiding curves, an advanced finish milling operation that can follow the natural shape of the machine part, including undercuts. Setting the pattern type is an important step. For this mold core, we'll use the new morph cutting pattern, allowing us to machine a high quality mold and eliminate any manual bench work, shortening the lead time. Next, we need to simulate the machining process and then generate the program to drive the CNC machines on the shop floor. We'll start by bringing in a smart machine kit or SMK for our machine tool. A smart machine kit is a fully functioning simulation kit created and developed by Siemens. A range of SMKs can be accessed through PostHub. PostHub is an extensive cloud-based library of machine kits, post processors, training material, and CAM add-ons. The library includes more than 1,200 post processors and SMKs to choose from. These machine kits contain documentation we can review before we decide which one to install. An overview document comes with each item and details information such as manufacturing technology, axes, units, machine manufacturer, and controller family. We can access PostHub directly from NXCAM. Once we're in PostHub, we can check the SMK's box to filter options as shown here. In this instance, we'll use this machine kit with this controller. We can download the machine directly into NX and it will replace the default machine currently applied. It really is as simple as that. We've also made it much easier to place a part of the machine for this release of NX. You'll have a greater degree of control over how to place the part. So let's take a look. There are three different options we can take when positioning the part. Assembly positioning, part mount positioning, and position part on machine. This is the new option and the one we'll use. Before sending the CNC programs to the shop floor, we need to simulate the machining process using the G-code driven simulation in NXCAM. Using the digital twin technology, we can accurately display the motion driven from the CNC program. The digital replica with the part, fixtures and tooling accurately reproduces the movement of the machine tool as the G-code is processed. The accurate simulation, including tool changes and material removal, helps us avoid errors in the production. It not only ensures safe operations, but it also speeds up the setup, maximizes machine utilization and reduces energy consumption. We are confident that our mold manufacturing capabilities in NX will help you deliver the most challenging molds on spec and on time to stay competitive. You can access all the manufacturing capabilities through our value-based licensing, an extension of existing NX software packages. It's a scalable, cost-effective way for you to take advantage of NX's industry-leading manufacturing capabilities. If you're already using value-based licensing, your CAM programmers can use your existing token pool to access the advanced CAD CAM capabilities for tooling. If not, speak to your Siemens account team to get started. And if you haven't seen our June 2023 premiere yet, click the link in the description to see other new features we've added to NX. Thanks for watching.